My film was compiled of a range of practical and technical skills. These skills included filming, editing, 3D composing, 3D modeling, 3D animation, sound design and visual effects. With these skills combined, I was able to create a high quality product. In this video, I will be going into extended detail about the specific processes and skills executed within my film, including 3D motion track text, set extensions, sound design slash music composition, 3D modeling and animation, and compositing effects. 3D motion track text was used in three main shots, including the opening aerial view, the introduction of data, and the setting the scene for outside his house. I started by tracking the footage using advanced settings to pick up as many points as possible. Once analyzed, the scene was filled with tracking points, which then can be selected and used by reference by a solid or text layer. For the 3D text, I used Element 3D. I used custom layers to select my text layer and hide the original text. Within Element 3D, I extruded the text and added bevels and materials to it. To increase realism, I utilized the plugin's render settings called Ambient Occlusion and Physical Environment. Ambient Occlusion is used to give the text shaded areas, and the physical environment influences the reflections and lighting using the original footage. The skill of set extension was used in the opening shot of the film where Casey is standing at the top of a hill at sunset. The camera was added to the scene and a white layer was created which I moved into 3D space. Using the camera settings I pitched the orientation upwards, keyframing at the beginning and end of where I wanted the movement to occur. This created a pan down effect. The white layer was then positioned accordingly within the composition to fill the empty space. To add another element to the white sky and artificial sky was added using a stock image. I positioned this at the same position as the white layer so the movements would look the same. For the time travel effect, I used Cinema 4D and After Effects. In Cinema 4D, I started by making a flat grid that extended far enough to fill up the screen. I used the landscape tool to build a few types of landscapes with varying size and change the seeds to make each one unique. I then strategically placed these within the composition creating a valley style effect. I used two render effects to get the look I desired. The first one was global illumination, which illuminates all components of the model evenly. The second effect was called cell renderer, which outlines the individual polygons on a model. This was used to make a grid effect. Using a camera layer, I keyframed a position at one side of the composition, which marked the start of the movement. After 144 frames, which equates to 6 seconds at 24fps, I moved the camera position to the other end, also keyframing it. This allows the scene to move as a whole. I repeated this process for each angle required. This effect was then carried over into After Effects where I imported the render as a JPEG sequence. I added motion blur, glow and colour to give the grid a better look. In order to remove the green background on the green screen footage, I use key light. I then proceeded to place the green screen footage over the rendered shot. To add finishing touches, I use color balance to further embed Casey's green screen footage into the shot. This effectively tied everything together. Sound design was completed in FL Studio. My song was compiled of drums, a bass line, a lead synth, pads and other effects like rises and falls. 
I made all components from scratch using both internal and external plugins like Massive, Sausage Fatner, SQ8L and Harmless. Here is a preview of my song.